Good morning, welcome back to Not Another Budget. I'm Nicole and this is Mr Bowie and on this channel I'm attempting to cash budget my way out of debt and fix several years of financial misbehaviour. And if that's something you're interested in following along with, please don't forget to stick around and check out the other content that I've created for you on this channel. Now, there was meant to be a midweek video, I completely forgot to upload it. I filmed it, I just didn't get as far as uploading it and then I was like, hmm... Normally I tend to get, you know, at least a couple of comments and interactions. What's happened? Oh, that was me. I didn't upload anything. Uh, I realised that yesterday afternoon. I was like, well, I'll just do my normal savings challenge Sunday video today and then move the teeny tiny Happy Mail haul, um, which was got with the last of my Christmas gift money, because uh, I got a little bit of Christmas gift money and uh, split it across a few things. Some of it went to a team hall, some of it went to Ikea and some of it, tiny amount of it went on um, some Etsy Happy Mail and uh, that'll be, yeah, it was just a quick little eight minute video but that'll be coming out in the next couple of days. And um, yeah, normal savings challenge Sunday. I still haven't gone through and actually worked out like what I need to put on my debt trackers. Um, I've turned it in my budget, but in terms of like colouring in, for example, how many balloons and balls and stuff, I've not gone through and done that yet. Um, because I just haven't had the time because it's been a hefty, hefty week of work. But we're back with one little pot of change this week um, and the penny savings challenge and the two pound challenge. <laughs> So let's go through and get this sorted. Now, if this is your first time catching this video, I am not the best at savings um, at all. I really, really struggle with it. And I find that I need like quick wins and I need to make progress quite quickly. So whilst I have set myself the challenge of working through a 5k savings challenge binder, um, I've which is going to take me a while and a Christmas savings kind of section, um, it's going to take me a while. I do. I know that. Like, but I also need some quick wins. So what I'm doing is I'm taking one pound coins, two pound coins, 50 p's and 20 p's and putting them towards a two pound challenge. And this is going to go on some form of house related um, replacing a kettle or getting a new bookshelf type fund. And then the penny savings challenge is it doesn't have a job yet. I'm hoping it's not going to take me a year. It's meant to take me a year. I don't have the patience for something to take me a year in small change. So um, I work this one largest to smallest. And then the £2 challenge is, as as it explains, you, you save up £2, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, first of all, I'm just going to pull out all of the 2Ps, 5Ps, 1Ps and 10Ps. Those are the denominations that are making up the uh, penny challenge. Again, it's not my favourite, but I am determined with a very high level of stubbornness to complete this challenge. Um, 10, 30, 40, 50, 2, 4, 6, 57p this week. And I can do that one straight away. And this is all going to go and sit in here. <clears throat> okay, and now we come to the £2 savings challenge. So let's pop you back. Yeah, I'm definitely slightly behind on my money admin this week. Um, lots of kind of deadline changes and things like that that are just causing a little bit of aggravation within my training and just not getting told things we should be on a timely manner so here we go two pound four pound six pound eight pound ten pound twelve pound fifty p will roll over to next week because unless it's a completely clean denomination of two pounds um i'm not going to get it bowie leave my apron alone thank you okay so i need to cross off six of these two one two three four five six yeah so i am quite like behind normally by this point i would have started to go through and plan out um some of february's budget so i mean i've made some rough numbers and things um, I would have certainly done a lot more work on the business, which I haven't had a chance to at all, um, 
because I've kind of had back to back. So because I'm doing my PGCE as well, which we have across the year four in-person conferences and four half day online webinars. Um, the way it's structured is that we don't tend to find out what we're doing until after we've had a conference. So we were basically given three days after a conference to come up with a research evidence and inquiry set of questions that we're then going to go away and um, do our research proposal work on. But the first 500, when that was this, that was handed in this Monday, just gone. Um, then we had to wait until Thursday for the response to come back. Yes, our questions are appropriate and approved. And we've got to write the first 500 words and it's due tomorrow and it's Sunday morning. Um, I've still not written them. Um, and I like, yeah, I mean, I personally am someone. Oh, great. He's playing with the tape measure. Um, I'm someone that... Um, like I to do to ensure that I'm doing a good job, particularly if it is a research based piece of work, I want to be sure that I've carefully considered. I don't like having three days to come up with a research proposal and question. I don't feel like that's um I don't feel like I'm gonna come up with the most reasonable thing or appropriate thing. And then having um another three days because we have to write based on the feedback we got, I don't then feel like having another three days with essential reading that we have to do and we can do the reading but then we've got to apply it to the feedback we get I don't feel like having three days to do that is appropriate really um if I'm going to make one criticism about the structure of this so far is that it's like okay well I was had a really really quiet time off between Christmas and New Year and if I'd known that this was the structure and this was everything that we needed to look at I could have had the time to really consider that I could have got ahead on the reading um and it does feel like I don't know whether it's purposeful or, I, or whether it is just poor planning from other parties. Um, it does feel very much like we have to hold the trainees us back from doing certain things. But at the same time, we're going to verbally shout about trainee well-being. And I'm like, well, my trainee well-being would be a lot better if I wasn't getting given minimal time to turn it around. Um, plus everything else I'm doing, um, particularly as I am only a trainee and I am not yet on a... We're still only meant to be on like a 50-60% timetable. Um, and within a subject like, like DT, there's an awful lot of construction and making that you have to do and a lot of like practical skills that you need to make sure you're on top of. Um, so I have that added like on top of like normal lesson planning, normal lesson resources, um, marking and things. I've also then got to physically be making and doing and building up sample blocks and stuff. So yeah, so I've had a bit of a frustrating week. Um, it's fine. I'm making full use of the feedback form. Your planning is shyster. Um, quite frankly, <laughs> your forward planning is non-existent. Um, so yeah, so therefore kind of money admin and house admin has fallen behind. Um, so I will be back, definitely back with a couple of midweek videos because I was going to try and like resume the posting every kind of two videos a week i'll be trying to be back with that this coming week and uh yeah just keep on ticking over nearly at the end of january we're into the fourth week now i think i don't even know anymore anyway on that note don't forget to like comment subscribe i'm gonna love you and leave you bye bye for now